All right, everyone, in this video, I'm gonna be telling you how you can downgrade your iPhone 5 using 3Utils in Windows 10 to iOS 8.4.1 untethered. Now, there is, a, well, technically, this is the same way as the 4S downgrading to iOS 6 from iOS 9, but you install Kadufu, the, the um, What's it called? The the Kadufu app off T I T H um, Team Star's repo, T I H M. I don't know how to pronounce it, but his repo. But if you actually do this on iOS 10, it the the Kadufu app will crash, which is totally normal. So if you've tried the Kadufu method, it doesn't work on iOS 10. It works on iOS 9, but not iOS 10 for some reason. No, that was weird. So you have to. So it's it's a little different. You do need. Uh, with 3U tools. You also need Future Restore for Windows, which is just you're, the only thing you're not actually. And don't freak out because I know a lot of you know what don't know what Future Restore is. You don't need to. There's just an application they have to run as an administrator and click Kadufu, but you have to have OpenSSH installed and you have to run the OpenSSH command through 3U tools. So I'll install OpenSSH and I'll get to it. So once you find the package, just by typing it into Cydia, there are no repos necessary. Go ahead, confirm. And it won't ask to respring. Actually, I, I don't, I forgot what it says, but you have to reboot it after. I think it says return to Cydia, but I could be wrong. But you do have to reboot it, not respring, but reboot, like a full on reboot and then kickstart jailbreak for it to actually take effect. This is taking a while, hold on. Okay, it's been like two seconds after I stopped it. Return to Cydia. You're going to reboot your device. And then kickstart jailbreak using... Before you do it, make sure you have a Helix installed. That isn't... It's recommended that you jailbreak using 3 tools, not like any other software. Because I just jailbroke it earlier. You can see. And it is semi-untethered. So it's not untethered. It's going to be semi-untethered. Meaning every time it reboots, tweaks won't work, such as OpenSSH, without a kickstart. So let's boot it back up and uh, kickstart, then we should open the SSH tunnel. Well, for some of you wondering how do you do OpenSSH tunnel, you just go under 3 tools to make sure it's the latest version. Well, it doesn't really matter, but toolbox. And then once it's connected, see, it's, it's grayed out because it's still booting up. But you would hit OpenSSH tunnel, but you have to have OpenSSH installed and you have to be kickstarted as on as well rebooted and then kickstart and then click that and then i'll show you after okay we're in the system now don't kick i mean you could click kickstart right away it'll say waiting for a system cooldown which is normal this isn't bad i thought my system was corrupt honestly when this popped up at first but just wait that time and it should be done and then it'll kickstart i also forgot to mention i will upload the, the OTA IPSW, which you're going to restore through 3 Tools once it's in Kadufu, along as Future Restore and 3 utools.exe. I will upload those both to Mega, not not Mega, Mediafire, and you guys can download it for yourself. But I will also, I will upload the 64, actually I don't think it matters honestly, I think it's just the text. I will upload the latest version of 3 Tools. so now it's kickstarted. Actually, I, I'll just I'll just get you the link because I know where that is. I don't, I don't have to upload that to Mediafire. So now that that's done, make sure Cydia opens. Make sure it doesn't crash. But don't do anything just to test it. And then we can hit. Well, for some reason it says close. So open SSH client. Now this is you don't need to worry about that. Just click yes. And if that does pop up, you're good because if that doesn't pop up, that means you did not. You do not reboot and or kickstart. So that just don't type anything and just keep that running in the background. I'm just going to go to Future Restore, the folder I downloaded, which is a long, long time ago. Scrolling down. Okay, so it comes in a seven zip format, but that was uh, six. Wait. That was 6-4-2021 at 2.48 p.m. So you, I will also link the 7-Zip website, or I might upload it as a zip file. Keep scrolling. 
Okay, it turns out it was at the bottom of all these files, so we're gonna go... It says future restore for 10.3.3, even though it's still broken. And then click that. But don't run it. Run it as an administrator. Oh, wait, I didn't click it. Run it as an admin. And then and there's going to be all these buttons. Do not click any of them. I mean, actually, yes, but click Kadufu. Make sure it says Kadufu. There will be question marks, but that doesn't matter. I don't know why there are question marks. Make sure you click the right one. And then once you do that, select the OTA 5,1 or 5,2. depends on what version you have. 8.4.1. And then it should hopefully do stuff. And then this should reboot, even though it's already in sleep mode. And you will get an error in the background, a do 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 error. This is the SSH tunnel that failed. That, that's not a bad thing. This is all is, it says, it does say fatal error, but that's normal. All is done, please unplug and replug. And then it should connect. Ready? It is not in regular DFU, it's in pawn DFU. So now you can close everything. And as you can see, DFU mode. So we're gonna go on, go under Pro Flash. And actually, oh wow, this is already still here. Uh, make sure it sets a quick flash because if you click retain users data, it'll just freeze at a certain point. But click your OTA, and then click Flash. You will get this error saying it isn't fake DFU. It is in fake DFU. But just click OK. And if that doesn't light up, that means you're not in Kadufu. Because if you enter DFU and do this, you will not get the IBEC component will not load successfully. I mean, the screen will stay off, but look at that. And this is not the OT. I mean, I, I wouldn't say it's OTA. I mean, it is the OTA PSW, but you could do the I file or files up method by changing the info.plist, not info.plist, system version.plist to 6.0 and then. And then going under software update and doing it that way. Personally, I have done it that way. It doesn't work for me. It might work for you. Who knows? But that's if you actually you know. Either way, you can't keep data. But that it's really really slow once you get on to iOS eight and you get activation issues. So I don't know. This is honestly the best method. It does require a computer. But if you want to do it PC less or Mac less, I mean you can't use a Mac anyway. But um, then this isn't the method for PC or computerless. You, but again, the one that has no computer isn't always reliable because it has activation issues and Wi-Fi issues and a whole bunch of issues. But this is fully working. Uh, my device does have a bad digitizer, so the touchscreen might not work well because that burn mark. But this is my specific device, and uh, if this was helpful, please like and subscribe. And indeed, I will be doing more iPhone downgrade jailbreak anything with technology videos f starting from soon. We'll also post memes and stuff occasionally. But yeah, this is, and there it goes. So yeah, I, ho I hope this was helpful. Any questions or concerns, comment them down below, and I'll see you later. Bye.